Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to everyone. Today we will see the fourth number parts of speech that is verbs. Verbs are action words or doing words. Verbs are the action words in a sentence that describe what the subject is doing. A verb is a word or a combination of words that indicates action or a state of being or condition. You know students, verbs are the hearts of English sentences. Verbs are the key word in the most sentences. So let's see the different points for the verbs. Look at the number one. A verb tells us what a person or thing does or what happens. What a person or thing does means physical action of a person or an action of that particular thing. First of all, I would like to remind you that action verbs can be either transitive or intransitive. Transitive and intransitive verbs we had already learned in 6th grade. Now let's take a quick recap of them. A transitive verb always has a noun that receives the action of the verb called the direct object. An intransitive verb never has a direct or indirect object although an intransitive verb may be followed by an adverb or adverbial phrase. There is no object to receive its action. I hope students will remember these all things which we had learned in 6th grade. Now look at the first example here. He acts on television. Now look at here. What is the subject he? What is the action of subject he? To act. So here to act is a verb. The word acts expresses the physical activity or action of he acts is a transitive verb because the action is received by an object. Here what is object? Television. Now look at number two. Anil balls well. What is the action of Anil? To ball. Here balls is a verb. It expresses the physical activity of anil. Balls is an intransitive verb because the action is not received by an object. Now look at number three. Birds flew away. Here, to fly, flew, is an action of bird. So here, flew is an action of bird. It is an intransitive verb because it's not received by an object. Now look at number four. Rohit is playing cricket with his friends. What is the action of Rohit? To play. So here playing is a main verb. But is is a helping verb. So here is playing is a verb. What is object? Cricket. So this is known as which kind of verb? Transitive verb. So I hope students it's clear to you that the action words are known as verbs. Now look at number two point. A few verbs am, is, are, was, were, become, seem, say what somebody or something is. They are called be verb. They are also called as linking verbs. What is linking verb? Linking verb tells us what the subject is, not what the subject is doing. In a first point, what we had seen? That what a person or thing does. But in second point, we have to learn that it tells us what the subject is, not what the subject is doing. These are also main verbs, but these verbs are not followed by objects 
Instead, they are followed by phrases which give extra information about the subject. This noun is called the subject complement. Look at the first example. Anita is a clever girl. Anita is a subject. Girl is a noun. Clever is an adjective. Anita is also noun. So here is. Is to be formed. The verb is links the subject Anita to this complement a clever girl. So here Anita is a subject. A clever girl is an is a complement. And is is a verb. So the verb is links the subject Anita to this complement a clever girl. Look at the next. The dinner was nice. Here was is a to be form. It's also known as verb. The verb was links the subject the dinner to this complement nice. Number three. This shirt seems better. Here what is the verb? Seems. The verb seems links the subject this shirt to this complement better. So in second point we have learned that verb tells us what the subject is not what the subject is doing. Now look at the number three points related verbs. The verbs have has had say what somebody or something has means possession look at the first one he has a computer it expresses a passive relationship to a noun he has a computer has is showing possession so has is a verb Maybe it's a temporary or permanent hold on. My dog has a ball. Here has is showing possession. So it's a verb. Means here we have learned possession. Have has had. It showed the possession. He has a computer. Means a computer belongs to him. He is the Honor of a computer. So a verb says what somebody or something does. In the first point we had learned. In next point we had learned that a verb may also say what somebody or something is. And in the third point, a verb may also say what somebody or something has. Now we will see the last point. A verb may also be made up of two or more words. Now, if a subject of a sentence has a verb that is made up of more than one word, that verb is called a compound verb. Take a look at first sentence. Mr. Singh has gone out. Here has gone. Both are verb. So here are two words there. Look at next. I will be visiting Mr. Jams tomorrow. Here are three words for the verb. Will be visiting. So sometimes a verb also made by two or more words. So this is also known as verb. It's also known as compound verb. So students, I hope you understand related verbs and different points of verbs. Now here we have one exercise related verbs. Underline the verbs in the following passage. One evening, Dr. Herma Maitra, a leader of Brahmo Samaj, was walking home with a new umbrella in his hand. 
A friend met him and asked the price of the umbrella. Rupees 4.75, he replied. Now look at in this paragraph. Was walking is a verb. Walking is a main verb. Was is a helping verb. Or you can say auxiliaries. Then a friend met him and asked the price. Mad is an action of friend, so it's a verb. Ask the price is a reporting verb. He replied once again reporting verb. When he arrived home, he remembered that actually he had paid rupees 4.50 for the umbrella. He finished his dinner hastily and walked to his friend's house which was 5 kilometers from his house. Arrived is the action of subject he. Remember that actually. Here remember is a verb. Had paid. Two verb, compound verb. He finished action of he subject. And walked it to his friends. Once again, the action of subject he walked, which was five kilometers from his house to be formed. I'm sorry, I told you a lie, he said to his friend. That umbrella cost me rupees 4.50, not 4.75. I'm sorry, am is a helping verb. Told you a lie, told is a reporting verb. He said to his friend, said is a reporting verb, that umbrella cost me rupees 4.50, not 4.75. Cost is also verb. So students, I hope that you will understand uh, very well by this passage. Verbs, identify verbs. Now we are having another ex exercise for you. Underline the verbs in the following sentences. So first of all students, you try to understand four points of verbs. You can easily get the answers. You can easily get verbs from these sentences.